electrical project and I don't mess with open currents, but mm. replacing a broken lock, that I can handle. Mm -hmm. We'll stay close, just in case. It won't be necessary. Just uh, yell out my name. Will not happen. Mm -hmm. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to After Dudes Delight. Boy, oh boy, these scenes are just too cute, man. Uh, I'm loving these Violet and Carver. If Violet and Carver has kind of sneaked up on me, I um, I thought there was potential there last year, but I didn't really think about it like that last year. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I just didn't really think about them last year. It was just so much going on, man, because you had Gallo was still in the picture, um, and then Carver was still kind of new, too, and then uh, the Hawkins death. So it was a lot going on last year. This year feels a little different. We've been away from the show for a while, so we've been able to kind of cleanse ourselves away from Hawkins' death, and then Gallo's gone now. So it kind of feels like a little bit different this year, where a little bit more open to maybe Violet getting in a new relationship and everything going on like that. But we knew from last year, I knew from last year, when Violet gave him that look, when they, I believe when he came over to help her out with something in her house, and the way she looked at him when he left, I knew something was there. I was like, Violet's into Carver. I wasn't, the only thing was I wasn't sure if Carter, Carver was into Violet. That was the only thing that I needed cleared up. And it's been cleared up in the last two episodes that he is. So they had a little friendly um, encounter in the fire truck when he was talking to her. And, uh, you know, it was doing some little teasing and stuff like that. And Violet was struggling doing something. I think she uh, hurt herself doing something. And, uh, but you could tell with the eyes, though, that something was there. Because, like, if you pay attention to people's eyes when they're in love with somebody, or they're, they're, they're not love, but they're starting to catch feelings for somebody, they got a crush. You could tell the eyes. And it's even easier to read on women than I think it is on men sometimes. Even though men are usually obvious creatures, because. Some of sometimes we could be simps, and so we're easier to read. But I feel like when it comes to the eyes, though, the women are easier to read. Like, and so when I was looking at Violet, I was like, man, Violet is super into this dude, bro. Like, the way she was looking, it was different. Like, if you look at eight, if you look at her eye interaction with someone like a Brett, Sylvie, right. You look at her eye, her eye contact, it's different. So I want y'all, if y'all go back and watch the episode, look for that. Because I'm telling you, you're going to notice it. And then with Carver, he's definitely catching some feelings for Violet. Um, you can tell it's there, man. So these two definitely going to be hooking up. It's just a matter of time. I just don't know when. This is a shorter season this year, so they may... I mean, I think one of the best things that they can do is... Play it slow with them. Let let the fans build up to it because Violet's fan base has they still got to remove themselves from Hawkins. So you got to understand. Take this really slow. Let them, you know, let them want it before we actually see something on the screen. You know what I mean? So I, if I was the writers and producers, I will wait until next year to do something with them. Don't do anything with them this year. They could go on that date on on. They could go to that, that uh, not the date, but uh, at the wedding, uh, Brett's wedding with Casey. They could be dates on that on that wedding, but don't have them have like a romantic moment until next season. I'm telling you, it's going to be a big payoff if you wait. Build it up slow. Keep doing the teasing the whole rest of the season. And I'm telling you, man, people going to want it next year. People going to want it. So, um... I think that's the way they should go about it. But let's let's talk about uh, in the next video. Let's talk about um, the Emma conversation. Because I want to talk a little bit about Emma in the next video. So they had another conversation at Molly's. And we got to talk about that. I'm going ahead and uh, give me your thoughts on this. What y'all think of. Oh, that's a good thing. What y'all think of them right now? For those of y'all that's Violet or Carver fans. What y'all think of them right now? I want to hear from y'all, man. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like.